I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Modeling. We're going to create a mock Charleston with no jokers and practice decision making pass by pass. It's a great way to build your confidence. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three iterations. We'll alternate between East and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14. And I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. We have a joker, a flower, west, south, pair souths. We have a white dragon and one, three, five, seven in dots. We have a one crack and then we have a one, five, nine in bands. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I think I would focus on little odds, one, three, five, and let the winds go, even though that's where the multiple is. One thing I was thinking is we could maybe keep the south and play north and south with ones and leverage that multiple. So let's keep the pair and let the west go. Wait, let's see, because I was thinking we could play one, three, five dragon. There's no gaps there. If we played north and south with ones, we would have three tiles to pass, and that's a little risky. Passing seven, five, nine. That's why I was thinking of letting the west go. Let's, let's make it a little better by letting the west go. We could do north and south with ones or little odds. So let's pass these three. We got a five bam. That's a multiple. I would keep it. And I would probably let the souths go. Focus on either fives or little odds. So let's pass these three. So we got a north, there's north south. So we have one, one five, one three five. Then we have south or six and four. Okay, so this is our multiple, and then a south went around. Sometimes they come back, but I think. I would still just let it go. Move forward, build around fives probably, maybe little odds. Oops. We could do four, five, six, but we have these ones and a three. So I think I would let these go. There's a flower and a three. So I think that was a good choice. We have two tiles to pass. I don't like passing white dragons. So here we have flowers. The flower hands in odds, I think are one suit. I need to go get my card. I don't have my card. Oh, shoot. My memory served me correctly. The flower hands in odds use one suit. So, we would have to play one, three, five in BAMs to leverage the multiple. The other thing we could do 
is maybe switch to like numbers with fives and see if we can build a back news. So let's keep the one for 135, maybe even 135 dragon. We need a three, so we're playing a gap hand. And then we could pass those three. I don't like passing white dragons. We want to use these flowers with the five. So that's either going to be one, three, five, or like numbers with fives. Maybe news. All right, let's risk it. There's an east. And we're going to let these tiles go. Let's pass these three. Ooh, dragon. Okay, we can pass these three. Flower. We may not be able to use that. And really, I would let these winds go probably at this point because of that. We can use this for the missing three, and I don't pass flowers, very rarely. I think we could still leave our options open for news with fives. We still wouldn't need these. Let's pass fully. Now, a south was going around. Let's pass these three. Optional cross. No keepers. So we have four discards with options. Well, really, we have five discards because I think this would be the hand to play. Maybe keep the five for potential like numbers with fives. This one was a little tough. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comments section below. This is pull one. We have a couple of jokers, a flower, south and east, pair of east. We have five nine in bams, four six eight in dots, and a two seven in cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I think I would keep the winds and maybe four, six, eight for two, four, six, eight. We could maybe even keep the two for two, four, six, eight, but then this would be the pass and I would not do that. I would either give up the winds or give up the two and focus on dots. Let's focus on dots and pass. Let's do these three. Whoa, we got a multiple in there. Oh my gosh, look, eight, nine. I'd reassess completely here. Eight, nine multiples. Break those up. Six through nine, I'd keep. Six through nine, pass these three. Six, eight, eight, nine, eight. Like numbers with eights. Break, well, I would want to leverage that multiple there. Six, seven, eight, nine, eight. To leverage the multiples, let's let the eight go. Keep this, no. I don't want to pass two wins. If you can, try not to pass two wins. We got six, 
and a six eight. Oh my goodness. Okay, like numbers with eights was kind of coming in a little bit. But what I'm thinking is a gap hand. Six seven eight nine. Six seven eight nine. No gap. Well, there is a gap right there, but we have jokers. So let's pass these three. Five. Let's see. We have eight, nine, and a six. Let's pass these three. Eight. Maybe we could keep the seven. No, we need tiles to pass. We're going across. Seven, bam. Okay, now that's interesting because we could do seven, eight, nine now. Here's another six. I think we could pass that though. We could do seven, eight, nine flower or six, seven, eight, nine gap hand. Let's pass one blind. Because if we had a seven dot, I think the six, seven, eight, nine mixed suit hand would be better. We didn't get it. We did get a green dragon though. If we could get a six bam, we could play single pair pung kong dragon. So I think, I think I would keep all that and pass two in the optional. We ended up with a six crack, not helpful, but I would keep all these tiles and see what happens. Here we could pung, that's good. We could even Kong that. All we need is a seven dot to play six, seven, eight, nine, or we could use this as joker bait and play seven, eight, nine Kongs. Or if we get a six bam, we could play six, seven, eight, nine dragon. So there's lots of potential here. If you would have done something differently, write what you have, would have done in the comment section below. This is pull two. Riley, quiet. Quiet. Leave. We have the right number of tiles. We have a flower, uh, that's not a flower, that's a joker. Joker, two flowers, red dragon. One, six, eight, and dots, pair of eights. One, two, six, nine, and bams, singles. And then a pair of four cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would play two, four, six, eight, and I would not pick a hand, not yet. Two, four, six, eight of some kind. So let's pass these three. Flower. Now there's like numbers. I would not do that. Okay, so we have three flowers. There's a four flower hand in two, four, six, eight in one suit. So we would need to probably go with this suit dots. We'd have to throw away a pair of fours. The other thing we could maybe do is keep the fours, plan to discard a, a flower. That's a different flower. It really doesn't matter. That's just my OCD right there. Okay, so that way we could maybe pass safely there. Maybe what I would do is pass a two because, well, no, we have a pair of fours there. I was thinking we could maybe play that fourth hand down. That's a mixed suit hand. Let's pass these three. 
Okay, now we have a four and a flower. Look at that, four flowers. I would reassess completely here. Maybe switch to like numbers with fours. There's a gap, we need a four dot in here. Flowers, you know the other thing we could do is keep the eights and see if we could push a quint. Let's see if we get fours or eights, wins, and we'll pass these, oops, pass these three. We got an eight and a wind, and we have two tiles there. So this is where I was thinking we could leverage all these flowers and quint that and then play a quint. We have two, three to pass. That's pretty risky there. So let's push a quint and let the fours go, or the eight, one of each of those. So let's do, oh, this is gonna be risky no matter how you slice it. I, it's nice to keep your options on your Kong. Let's go ahead and risk it. Two, seven, flowers. Let's pass these three. No keepers. Pass these three. Four crack, there would be the Kong. So really what we need are wins. Let's pass these three and optional. Oh, we got a four back. Maybe we could keep it, but I think I would probably try for a quint here. Joker bait discards. If this made you cringe, write hashtag cringe in the comment section below. And if you would have done something different, put what you would have done. This is pull three. One of the differentiators with American Mahjong is the Charleston. The Charleston is half the game. Build your confidence making decisions through the Charleston and you'll be able to play with grace and ease. If you need a Mahjong set to practice with Charleston modeling, look for a link in the video description below for a set I highly recommend at Gammon Village. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.